and welcome to Aviation 101 with Laura. Today I want to talk to you about a big number, 500 hours cross country. But are you logging it correctly in your logbook? You might be working on your ATP minimums and you might be missing out on cross country time and logging it in your logbook when you actually are meeting cross country requirements during your flight training. So let's get started and talk about what 14 CFR 61.1 VI Bravo says about this. I pulled it off ecfr.gov and cross country time says number, the point I is the definition. Okay. And in point I, it says you have to have landed somewhere besides your departure point. Okay. But notice Point VI under cross country time, so this is the sub part, says if you're meeting the aeronautical experience requirements for your airline transport pilot certificate, point B under that says you have you can log cross country time anytime you go in a straight line of more than 50 miles away from wherever you took off. It also does not say that you have to have landed in order to log that as cross country time. So I highly recommend noticing this when you're doing your flight training, when you're being a flight instructor and you're building your flight hours and you're flying with students or you're flying yourself. If you have the opportunity to fly more than 50 miles straight line leg away from your departure point, even if you're not landing, you can log that as cross country when you're working on your ATP 500 hours of cross country. So here's an example of what I do in my personal logbook. I blurred out everybody's names who I was flying with, but I have written down there in the remarks, plus 50 straight line whenever I went more than 50 miles away. And I have got familiar with my local area, so I know what approaches at what airports I can go to and get more than 50 so that I can log that as cross country time. Now, be careful of this because you can't use this definition if we go back to this this definition only applies to meeting your ATP. If you're working on some other pilot certificate that has cross country hour minimums, you have to use that part of, of 61.1 defined cross country, but you can still put in your remarks in your logbook, even if you don't put it in the cross country column, your every time you flew more than 50 miles away from that point of departure. So start logging the cross country time now and then keep track of it. And later on, you can go back through your logbook and see where you have some hours that you can apply toward your 500 hours of cross country required for ATP. If you like this, if you're embarking on a commercial aviation career, like and subscribe, check out my other videos and have an awesome day.